Hey there fellas, today I'm going to teach you the feigned entry. Now, since we took the Scandinavian, you saw what exactly the Scandinavian is about. It's basically a manji, which we haven't taken yet, but manji is basically, if you go on a straight road, you flick to the one side or you transition to the one side to the opposite in a straight way and then what the Scandinavian does is you transition to one side, another side and then you go into the corner. However, with the feint entry we don't need to do a manji, we just need only one transition and we enter the corner. The whole purpose of the feint is to preserve the momentum, so basically keep the momentum, keep the speed that we have or build the momentum. So compared to the Scandinavian technique, the feint entry is more of a acceleration technique. So there's two ways we can do this guys. Now, when we flick, we can actually hold for just like half a second so the car can keep turning and use as much space. So that's like a delayed counter flick. Or we could counter flick immediately, which will be like almost like we turn the car and then we immediately toss the car the opposite side, we initiate the spin, then we catch the drift and we go. So I'm gonna show you the two variations that we can do. You could also do this with the, with the Scandinavian. Now, depend when you want to force the car to spin, uh, which I didn't show in the Scandinavian, but you see what I mean and uh, what I'm talking about. We're gonna do a showcase on the U-turn and then I'm gonna show you the cool part with building tons of speed on the long corner. And you'll see that we literally don't even need anything. Just one feint should probably be enough to completely nail this whole corner there. Okay, guys, now we're gonna build up some speed, hover over the right side. We're gonna flick to the left, use more speed, then we flick to the right and we get into big angle. And then we cover the entire place. And you could see that if in case we went with like way too crazy of a speed, we could always save ourselves making a bit bigger angle, but obviously we're gonna cover angles as well soon. But I'm gonna give you one more showcase with me trying to actually get a bit shallower angle and not that much of a speed because now I used a bit bigger angle so I can kill the speed and not go on the grass and you say uh, you could see that we completely covered the entire edge of the corner on the white line very close to it we had like a very good line and we preserved as much momentum as possible All right, we go again. I'm not gonna build as much speed now. So full throttle in, delay. And now we got a bit shallower angle and I can very gently and nicely get on throttle. We have the perfect line. And if we want, we can continue manji right and left and so on. So that's about the U-turn, guys. It's really about how much space you leave on the left and like what angle you get. Because the bigger angle you get, uh, the moment you like flick the wheel to the opposite side for to force the transition you might force the car to whip into a very big angle so without further ado guys now i'm gonna show you this big long corner and uh, we're gonna do a very quick flick into it and uh, you'll see that we don't need neither left foot brake we neither need handbrake it's just gonna be throttle and one flick that's all about it so let's go ahead guys all right let's build in some speed flick left flick right I'm on the throttle all the time. Look at this, guys. Look at this beauty. 
and now I can modulate because I see I'm going towards the grass and you see like I said in the other videos guys this is throttle pulsing I'm gonna cover this but if you see you're going towards the grass don't just stay on the throttle do something always try to fight and save yourself lower the throttle that doesn't mean completely lift off the throttle to use like engine brake and just stop in the middle of the track just cut a lot of the throttle keep the pulsing in and that help you out but back on the topic you saw how we completely nailed the long corner absolutely zero effort guys the only effort was me just forcing the car to turn like a corner in force to the left then we flick opposite immediately unsettling the car we confuse the car we force the car into a spin and then we catch the drift and we went through the whole long corner that was about it guys so that's about the faint entry guys you saw we completely nailed the long corner it's a very shallow degree corner and it's big distance to cover so you need a lot of speed or you need to enter and start building speed and in this case we just used throttle like we were all the time on the throttle the only thing we did was literally we used the feint to basically get into a drift and also start building up the momentum and what we did is we flicked to the left the car tries to turn we use the corner in force against it then we flick to the right and settle the car we entered a spin but then we caught the drift so we basically canceled the spin by catching it and we just continued our way through the whole corner and of course later on i'll show you about long corners how you could like slow yourself down and so on about more left foot brake and so on now guys for exercises wheel and hand calculations and massive tips please visit the old episode of how to drift which is about the scandinavian flick there are two similar techniques in terms of the flick everything is the same it's just a bit different on the position of the road where you have to be and what exactly the scandal and the feint is aiming at so in that regard the exercises are the same the wheel and hand calculations and the tips do apply to both of them so in order to prevent this episode from being very repetitive and long I'm just gonna let you and advise you to go back to the Scandinavian flick and use the timestamps that you have right here for the tips, wheel calculations and the exercises. They will be absolutely the same so we can save up some time from this video and not make it repetitive and also very long. I hope you learned something today. I hope you enjoyed the video and that's why I do them guys so I can help you and share all the knowledge I have. For now, wish you all the best. Hope you learned something. I will see you in the next video.